was your reaction when Reese made that catch in the first inning? Uh, I was just screaming at him as loud as I could, like right in his ear. Uh, honestly, when it first came off, I thought it was going to split the gap, but I mean, I mean, he's one of the fastest on the team. So when he just, I just watched him like from a weird point of view and just go airborne and catch the ball, and I was just screaming at him. How excited are y'all for the challenge this weekend going to Kentucky? Uh, very excited. You know, uh, we don't shy away from good competition. Kentucky, they've been doing pretty good uh, so far through the, se uh, through the season. So we're ready to go to Lexington and compete. What makes Reese's swing so nice? Tony, since he stepped foot on campus, has talked about the exit reloads and hitting it off the scoreboard and such, but obviously hasn't played a ton. So w what about his swing makes it so nice? I mean, he's he's strong as all get out uh, in the weight room. He's putting up incredible numbers through uh, all fall and even now whenever we lift in season. And then uh, he also just works really hard uh, with his swing. Him and Coach E, I, know, I watched them uh, work independently together. Um, you know, and just try to improve his swing every day. At the halfway point in SEC play, what do you feel like you've learned about this team in those first 15 games? Uh, I've learned that we're very competitive. Um, and we don't, you know, we don't give up easily. You know, um, there's definitely been some games where it hasn't gone our way from the beginning, or I mean, honestly, throughout the whole game. But every single at bat, every single pitch, it was, you know, we were just locked in as if it were, you know, a zero-zero game. We were doing everything we could to try to get back, and that's just, you know, how everything is um, on the field and then off the field. Just, just a really close-knit group of team uh, players. Um, we hang out together a lot, play the game. A video game with each other a lot. Uh, so we like to hang out off the field, which I think helps us a lot uh, whenever we come to the yard. How impressive is what Blake's doing, not only hitting for power, but in on base a lot as well? I mean, I guess you could say it's impressive, but he's been doing the same thing since he's gotten here. You know, um, I mean, it's nothing different from everything we I've been seeing since I came in here with him. Kind of walks to that home run there you had in the second inning, and, and how good did that feel uh, given the Rough the weekend at the plate, considering you've been so hot there this year. Uh, yeah, I mean, it was, you know, definitely a, a confidence booster, I guess you would say. But, um, you know, I just wanted to, to get back to my approach. I can tell I've been getting a little bit big this past weekend. So my big, uh, my, the biggest thing for me today coming into the game was just getting back to my approach and just trying to uh, see it and hit it. Do you watch other SEC teams throughout the season? I know y'all are pretty busy yourself, but. Uh, I don't watch complete games, but I do watch um, highlights. Uh, just about every game, just, you know, we get home, kind of decompress, you know, just kind of watch, uh, get on YouTube and watch Wheels and, you know, see what everybody else is doing. Kentucky's been good the last several years, obviously, but have you noticed anything from afar that kind of makes it stand out as to why they're taking a jump this year? I mean, they're on fire right now. I mean, I feel like every team in the SEC is a very competitive team, uh, regardless of their past or, you know, what they're, what they're doing right now. I just feel like, you know, I guess they're starting to find their stride and, uh, knowing, understanding what works best for them. Of course, you enjoy going on the road and playing. I know you, as much as y'all have won the past few years, you're probably not the most popular team when you roll into town somewhere else. What, what's, do you enjoy that? I personally love it, and I can tell you right now that everybody in that locker room loves it, um, and also our head coach loves it. You know, We love being the villain. Uh, I think it just brings out a different fire. We just love competing. I know you were redshirting a few years ago, but I think you made that trip up there. What, what do you remember about the difficulties of, of that weekend? Uh, that was my first trip, and the one thing that I do remember, it was very cold and rainy the whole entire weekend. And, uh, you know, I, I was blessed to be, be there, but that was the one thing I was like, man, is it like this everywhere? Because, like, it was just, you know, just really cold and really rainy. You know, it was in April, I'm pretty sure. And it was just, I don't know, something you're not, we're not, I'm not used to being a, from Tennessee my whole life. Anything else, KD? Thank you.